everybody. I'm Mo. And I'm Dylan. And today we are going to be showcasing a little passion project that we've been working on and it is called the Hummingbird Hideout. Woo woo! <laughs> so this just took three hours out of our day uh, two days ago and really what I did is um, I've been searching for rocks that have a lot of personality and unique features so you'll see every single type of color um, along this path. And really the idea is to create a space where um, someone can go and just uh, kind of relax and enjoy the nature and the property. We have one hummingbird feature so far. And I probably scared them away, but they will come if we're really silent. Goal is to get a whole bunch of them um, in addition to planting natural flowers that will bring them in. Um, and I've created this bench all out of things that I found on the property. Oh, oh, all right. Are you getting this? They really like hanging out here. So anyways, um, this was made out of a recycled um, bed frame actually a crib. Thank you, Nicole. Um, she was working on a van build and donated some materials that she didn't want to use. And then all of these bricks and rocks were um, just throughout the property. So in addition to doing some cleaning, we um, created it into something else that's really beautiful. Um, and then we have uh, some stacked rocks here, making a little Karen, um, just kind of an accent. and. We're looking forward to creating a really vibey space. Um, and then you can see this kind of leads into our open land. But we're starting to create a path system throughout the entire uh, 17 acres of undeveloped land. So we've, Morgan and I, we've been spending our time every evening doing a sunset walk and we have some favorite paths that we've wanted to carve out to make them a little more inviting for people. Um, they named this the humdrum for a reason and that's because anything that creates a vibration is connected so humans and hummingbirds are connected and this just allows that connection to breathe a little deeper. Wow. 